Let's get back over to meteorologist Sam Schreier now on our Wednesday morning. Yes, we're looking at a chilly and breezy day today. Actually, just straight up cold for a lot of the region, but we will get a little brighter skies as we get into the daytime. That'll help things out. We get dangerously cold tonight. What I mean by dangerously cold is anytime the temperature is below 20, I tend to call it that because you really can get frostbite to set in so quickly, especially with like your fingers, your extremities that were uncovered. So we know we're going to have lows in the teens over night. We are going to see warmer and dry conditions out through Friday, but then next week doing an early look at Thanksgiving. There's a small chance in the long range models of some snow around next uh, Wednesday, but it didn't look very good to me. Now currently we've got some really gusty winds across the plains. Colorado Springs on the east sides of Pueblo County seeing and feeling that wind out there. And then when you look at your temperatures, it is cold. 21 in Monument, 22 Woodland Park, mid to lower 20s across most of Colorado Springs region. Pueblo, 34 degrees, excuse me, 34 out there with mid to lower 30s to our east. It is a chilly start to the day. Now there is a little bit of snow up near the Boulder area around some of Estes Park, but a lot of that is dipped south. When we look towards Idaho Springs, Conifer, Highlands Ranch, a few flurries, but that's it. One or two of those flakes could bump right near the El Paso County line, but I don't think anything settles south of it. So we're really looking at a dry day, but a cold one with highs in the 30s and 40s. And then this is one of our big stories, lows getting into the teens, pretty widespread overnight. And we can kind of track that in our super seven days. So with Colorado Springs, we get to about 39, but then from six o'clock, we just steadily tick it down towards tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Lows around 18, but the official low might dip as as low as 15 degrees through early Thursday morning. Thursday will recover. We look really nice on Friday. A late day cold front could give us an isolated shower or even flurry through the Pikes Peak region, but then I think we stay dry into the start of next week. In Pueblo, very cold tonight. Lows down near 10 tomorrow morning. That means overnight temperatures will be falling from the 20s into the teens, and then we do get a little bit of an improvement by Friday with highs in the mid 60s. Canyon City, like Pueblo, we look dry over the weekend. We're not as cold tomorrow morning, but still very cold with a low 22. We look dry through the extended with nicer weather on Saturday and Monday. Finally, Woodland Park, very cold tonight with a low of 17. Tomorrow looks chilly. And then I think we could see an isolated flurry Saturday towards the end of the day, but no accumulation there. Let's go to traffic.